Whoa, what's going on people and welcome back to another video editing slash video production themed video here on my channel. I'm Jack Riss, Jack Cole. Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're talking about how to do smooth slow motion without any plugins in Premiere Pro. None of that nonsense with just the speed slash duration stuff which really has no transition between the uh, previous um, version of the time speed and the kind of newer sped up or slowed down version. That just doesn't look smooth at all. It's kind of just like a jump cut between different speeds. Overall, this is just going to be how you can do smooth slow motion in Premiere Pro 2017 um, without any of that weird kind of cut stuff and without any plugins. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, boom. So this right here is our clip. This is a clip I got uh, two weeks ago, or it might have been like a week ago. No, no, no. It was two weeks ago, okay? It was two weeks ago. And I got this footage filming an event near me, and pretty much this right here is an MC. This is a DMB night, a drum and bass night, if you don't know what DMB uh, that abbreviation is. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and mute the audio because I don't really need it. And pretty much, let me just let the clip play for a second. So it is just this MC jumping, and then he kind of does this cool kind of one leg up jump movement thing, which I think I want to slow down a little bit. Um, maybe he comes and then runs and jumps into the slow motion, right? So he's gonna. Yep, come along, jump, and then there, around there, it's going to slow motion, right? So previously, what probably people were doing, which is what uh, is kind of like a just a huge pain, it doesn't look very good, is say you wanted to have that bit slow motion, you would of course cut right there, um, and pretty much say you wanted all of that slow motion right there, um, you would then literally just cut where you wanted it to end, and simply right click and go to speed slash duration, and that came up on my other window for some reason. And uh, say you wanted it to be slow-mo, you would just go 60, for example, right? Um, boom. And then that, yes, it is slow motion. However, obviously it just cuts, right? And then obviously here when it cuts back, right? Slow-mo just to back looks absolutely terrible. Um, there's we, we've all, we obviously lost some frames in there, seeing as it just cuts here to here. Just does not look good at all, to even say the very, very least, it does not look good. Um, but pretty much, if we just go ahead and undo what we've just done there, there is a much better and extremely easy way still to achieve this slow motion effect, but a smooth slow motion effect in Premiere Pro 17. Um, and pretty much what we're going to want to do is go ahead and find out the point that we want to actually bring this in. So it's going to be about right here when he actually lands... And um, you're going to want to go ahead and press P. Now, P is going to bring up the pen tool. Yes, that is the pen tool shortcut. And just go ahead and click right here on, on this. Or actually, my bad, pen tool works, but you can also go ahead and go up here and, and press time remapping. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Boom. It's going to come up with this line right through the middle, okay? Right there. And that is, of course, your time. So currently, that'll be set to around 100. So if we want this uh, effect to begin here, we're going to go ahead and press right here. Boom. That's going to add a marker. That's going to be the in marker for our smooth motion. Then say we wanted to end maybe here or here. All right. Before he just comes back around and then comes back in with that kind of jump thing, right? Because we want it to go smooth motion. And then on the jump, maybe it comes back into regular motion. So again, we're going to want to go ahead and click there. That's our in and our out point. Okay. For this particular project uh, or for this particular slow motion. So now we can actually go ahead and press T, which brings us back to our just regular tool, and go ahead and drag this particular line, which has been created in the middle, up and down. Now up, of course, will be speeding it up. So if we make that super fast, then right there, it will, boom, just make them crazy fast and then bring it back to normal. Or if we bring it down to actually achieve the slow motion effect that we're after. So I'm gonna bring him to about 75 and see what he's saying at about 75. And boom. So he's definitely nicely uh, slow right there. And um, then he kind of comes back for the point that I wanted to come back. However, that right there is pretty much the same as just doing the slow motion that I showed you how to do a second ago, which is just the really boring, bland, um, cut slow motion. Now, how do we actually make this right here fade in and uh, actually make the time remapping um, not just kind of like abrupt? You see right here, it goes from regular, the line is regular, to boom, it just randomly changes, right? Um, and it's very abrupt. So the way that we actually change it from being so abrupt and change it to having kind of like a smooth transition into this slow motion is simply by dragging this guy right here. And that will bring your one singular point right there. You see it's a singular blue point. When you drag it, it starts creating a line. So that right there is essentially a transition 
from one speed, e.g. Uh, the 100 speed that it will be over here. My bad, I screwed that up. I need to adjust it. Boom, so 100. And it will slowly bring it down over the course of those frames down to 70. Just for kind of uh, demonstrational purposes, we're going to bring it down to 50. And right there, it has created a really nice and smooth transition from regular speed into, of course, the slow motion. Now, we can drag that um, as far as we want and create um, kind of like a longer transition into it. Um, and then slowly, it will, of course, come into the smooth motion. And yes, we can do that to the opposite side as well to bring it back out of smooth motion. Whoop! When he actually starts doing this jump thing just like we wanted. So just like that, that is actually how very simply you can actually create your own smooth motion effects in Premiere Pro 2017 without any bullshit plugins or Twixter or any of that nonsense. Boom, yes, thank you guys for watching the video. This has been, like I just said, how you can actually create smooth, slow motion within Premiere Pro 2017 uh, without any plugins or nonsense. And uh, yeah, very, very simple tutorial, as you can see, creating a nice transition in between your, uh, your different time speeds, opposed to just cutting right in between your project and uh, as a result of which probably losing some frames and other nonsense like that that you don't need to be dealing with. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Jack Chris, Jack Cole. For more video editing and video production themed videos, give us a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Boom!